So Boaz began to speak unto her, and he said, Go on to glean in another field. Let the eyes be on the field in front of you. And go thou after them. He said, You got to go after your miracle. You got to go after your miracle because it ain't just going to fall in your lap. What does the word of God tell us in Hebrews chapter 11? It said, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And you see, I'm going to tell you this tonight because I recognize diligence in each and every one of you. But I'm going to tell you, don't take your eyes off your prize, say the Lord. Because, honey, the prize is coming to you. And when you get the prize that God has prophesied and promised over you, you ain't going to make any excuses. You're going to say, yes, Lord, I was waiting on it. Hallelujah, I knew it was going to come. I, Lord, nobody had to prompt me into my blessing. I kept my eyes on it, God. I kept my eyes on that field, and I saw what you said would be mine. Woo! Come on. Times in your life you'll begin to prophesy. You'll begin to call for things that be not as if they already were. And as you're speaking and you're calling forth light, it looks like nothing's happening for you. But God said tonight, you don't have to struggle or fight for the blessing that's before you belongs to you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes. to make a way for you, there ain't nobody that's gonna be able to take your blessing. You know why? Because just like Ruth, you've been out in a field, you've been getting dirty, and come on, you know what I'm talking about. How many of you know that there are times that you've interceded and you prayed, and, and, and you know what I laugh about? I remember believing God with so many friends of mine, and we'd touch hands and agree, and Lord, they need a miracle in their house, and they need this, and they need that. And, and you know what? We'd be waiting and waiting. But we knew. We knew that deliverance was going to come. You know why? Because faith is just like a little tiny seed. And it's just like when you first get pregnant. Can't nobody see that you're pregnant. Takes a while for the blessing to bloom. Come on. But then one day, supernaturally, that baby begins to kick. And let the mama know, hey, I'm in here. And I'm letting you know tonight, you all are pregnant with the promise and you're about to get birth to a blessing. Now. And I'm here as a Holy Ghost midwife to tell you, baby, punch!
what's going to happen is there's going to be a Holy Ghost indignation that God's going to begin to stir within you to begin to believe to receive in a greater measure for your life uh, because you've been out in the field long enough saying, God, uh, the Lord has sent Boaz uh, to take notice of you. Uh, woo! <laughs> and God's going to bring you in for a blessing tonight. Everyone say, tonight! anointing we're not asking you for a miracle we're praising you for a miracle now father god in the name of jesus too lord i know what you told me to have your people do lord you told me to tell them that they don't have to wait for the battle so father god in the name of jesus the rain shall 